Hi, welcome to another video on Biomedical Engineers TV. In this video, we will look into audiometer and tympanometry. Let's start the video from the audiometry test. So where did it all begin? In 1885, Arthur Hartman designed an auditory chart which included left and right ear tuning fork representation. In 1899, Carl Seashore introduced the audiometer as an instrument to measure the keenness of hearing, whether in the laboratory, schoolroom, or office of the psychologist or artist. The instrument operated on a battery and presented a tone or a click. It had an attenuator set in a scale of 40 steps. Max Wein conceived of the concept of a frequency versus sensitivity amplitude audiogram plot of human hearing sensitivity in 1903. So what is audiometer? An audiometry evaluation is a painless, non-invasive hearing test that measures a person's ability to hear different sounds, pitches, or frequencies. Patients who have a tumor in or around the ear may undergo audiometry testing to determine whether hearing loss has occurred or to monitor their hearing before and after surgery. It is also used to evaluate whether hearing aids or surgery may improve one's hearing. How does a hearing test work? Our ears have three distinct parts, the outer, middle, and inner ear. Audiometry tests can detect whether you have a sensory neural hearing loss, damage to the nerve or cochlea, or conductive hearing loss, damage to the eardrum or the tiny ossicle bones. During an audiometry evaluation, a variety of tests may be performed. The outer ear collects sound waves from the environment and funnels them down the ear canal to the eardrum. Vibrations are made when the sound hits the eardrum. Vibrations are then passed along tiny bones, the ossicles, in the middle ear. The ossicles consist of the malleus, incus, and stapes. The stapes delivers vibrations to the cochlea in the inner ear. The cochlea is a spiral tube filled with liquid and lined with hair cells that are microscopic in size. When the vibration hits the cochlea, it causes the liquid, and subsequently the hair cells, to move. The movement of hair cells generates nerve signals that our brain then understands as sound. A pure tone audiometry test measures the softest or least audible sound that a person can hear. During the test, you will wear earphones and hear a range of sounds directed to one ear at a time. The loudness of the sound is measured in decibels, or dB. A whisper is about 20 dB, loud music ranges 80 to 120 dB, and a jet engine is about 180 dB. The tone of sound is measured in frequencies, or hertz. Low bass tones range 50 to 60 hertz. High-pitched tones range 10,000 Hz or higher. Normal hearing range is 250 to 8,000 Hz at 25 dB or lower. Now let's look into tympanometry. A tympanometry test detects problems such as fluid or wax buildup, perforated eardrums, ossicle bone damage, or tumors in the middle ear. Acoustic reflex testing evaluates the cranial nerves and brainstem. Let's look into the components of the audiometer. The components of an audiometer are shown. The power switch controls the electrical supply to the instrument, and there is often a power indicator lamp to show whether it is on or off. Test tones are presented to the patient by turning them on and off with a button called the interrupter. The frequency control is used to select among the various test frequencies. Most audiometers include the frequencies 125, 250, 500, 750, 1000, 1500, 2000, 3000, 4,000, 6,000, and 8,000 hertz. The pure tones themselves are produced by a circuit within the audiometer called a pure tone oscillator. There is a stimulus or tone mode switch that allows the test tone to be presented either continuously on or pulsed on and off at a regular rate. Another mode produces a warble tone, which means that the frequency varies periodically, e.g. 1,000 hertz plus or minus 5%, rather than staying steady over time. This feature is not commonly found in basic audiometers. Let's understand what pure tone audiometer is. Pure tone audiometry is a behavioral test used to measure hearing sensitivity. This measure involves the peripheral and central auditory systems. Pure tone thresholds, or PTTs, indicate the softest sound audible to an individual at least 50% of the time. Hearing sensitivity is plotted on an audiogram, which is a graph displaying intensity as a function of frequency. A basic audiometer should make it possible to perform the most fundamental audiological tests, which involve determining how much intensity is needed for a patient to hear pure tones at different frequencies. The pure tone audiometer must be able to produce pure tones at certain frequencies. 
precisely control the levels of these tones and deliver them to the patient in the manner intended by the audiologist. This was the simplified video on audiometry and tympanometry. If you like this video, give us a thumbs up and subscribe down below, and I will see you guys in the next video.